Hey, Joey, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Hey, man, you're a Marlboro man, right? You're from Marlboro, Mass. Um, we're, we're New Englanders. Yeah. We're transplanted down this end. Um, looking at your bio, and I have a son who's a teenager, so he knows of your work and everything, a lot of gaming stuff and a lot of stuff that you've done. Um, when you started with this concept, I guess you were about 15, 16 years old, of, of trying to make it with YouTube. I mean, I was a TV news guy. I used to watch YouTube. We put stuff up and say, Wow, it's hard, man. I mean, people think it's easy to, to do that every day. Tell me about the struggles, the early struggles. The early struggles. Um, I mean, I was just a teenager, like in high school, and uh, like having the time and the, the ideas to come up with. Um, you kind of feel like a little lost and scared, and not knowing if you're doing anything right. And um, for me, like it kind of just like fell into place, and I found my passions and. I just started uploading what I really like doing, and people were on board with that, and then it evolved into what it is now. How do you fight the urge, Joey, how do you fight the urge to, to, because I did the same thing in TV news and in radio, to start changing what you put up based on how many hits you're getting and things like that? It's got to be very tempting to go with the flow instead of going with your heart sometimes, right? Yeah, for sure, but I think there's there's a, a way to mix those two elements together, um, being true to yourself, but also pleasing your audience and doing what they enjoy and um, giving them what they like to watch. Um, it's, it's this balance that you have to find. Well, I'll tell you what, we know that you have a new project coming up, and I've, I've been looking at some of the stuff that you've done. And first of all, you cheesed off a million teenage girls this week, but we can get into that later. Um, a project uh-huh. called... Uh, in real life, my journey to a pixelated world. Tell me how you got involved in this and what you hope to, to do with this. Um, well, it, uh, it was a book that I started writing uh, more than a year ago, and I, it all started with really just wanting to share uh, my story, and I felt like it was too... There was too much to really just go in depth in a video, and a book felt like the right way to go. And um, I just really wanted to help people out there going through similar struggles that I went through because when I was growing up, I I didn't have that role model of someone who openly talked about their experiences, and um, I I wanted to be that for my audience and for other people um, in the world. I'm looking at the, your extremely award-winning actor, and I don't know what that is, Joey, so you got to explain that to me. Uh, oh, the Streamy is a, is a web-based award show. Um, so I got, I got Best Actor in a, in a Drama. Oh, okay. And, and of all the bio stuff, I mean, a lot of it looks normal. We've interviewed a few people that are some of the, the so-called rock stars of, of YouTube world and all that stuff, but I, I've never seen one that did Amazing Race. I mean... How does that fit into your world? Was that crazy? Um, yeah, that was absolutely amazing. I, I actually just auditioned for the show because I, I loved it. And um, they liked the fact that I did YouTube and thought that it was cool and interesting. So uh, they put me on the show and it was amazing. Well, you're in the world of some of these big stars that, that now do YouTube, and it's, it's blended the line. I mean, there was a time that a lot of you guys were sort of rookies in TV, if you want to put it that way, and you've done some acting stuff, and you do this. and But now, everybody, I mean, even Seinfeld has podcasts and has, uh, what does he do, the comedy in a cab or in a car or something? Like, and and it's really oh, blended right, the line. Right, yep. Yeah, so uh, you're, you're in that world, right? So do you, and, and who did we just have on? It was a woman who was one of the top YouTubers and she just started her own show on E or something. Um, oh, great. Helping. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, is that your next move? I mean, are you going to go more mainstream? Um, it's, it's interesting. I've always wanted to be an actor on like TV and movies. And of course, like if that opportunity came about, I would be so down. Um, but I guess like right now, like I'm, I have the opportunity to make um, some really awesome stuff on my own, and um, it's just so much easier and faster to do it um, on my YouTube channel. Well, I'll tell you what, um, everybody 
in the TV world is jealous of the success of what's happening with you guys on YouTube. It's true. So they're trying to bring you guys in because they want the hits on there. You know, even in TV news, they, they tell you now ratings, not as important as the hits you're getting on the website because they, they can see more money tied to that. So you guys, wow, that's you, incredible. yeah. So you found a way to get money, which gets the attention of, of folks out there. Do, uh, do you make a ton of money or do you not talk about that? Um, I, I mean, I don't talk about the exact dollar amount, but I do. Um, I do make a good amount of money that allows me to support myself in LA, and um, I can live comfortably. And it's really cool that YouTube's offered that to me, and um, I feel very like lucky that I get to do this for a living. All right, look, I have to bring up the fact now. Now, to me, you know, I'm in my 50s, so everybody in the world already came out and said they were gay. So I had, nobody gets surprised anymore, but. Um, when you when you did that, give me the reaction because I mean when I was, I was prepping for you and I see that so many people say, oh, he's the hot looking guy, and there are a lot of young girls that love you and stuff like that. What I'm I'm going to guess you got a mixed reaction. A lot of people said, you know, bravo for you, and then a lot of girls cried. I mean, how did it go down? Um, actually, it was ninety nine percent all positive. Um, I uploaded a music video, and that's how I came out at the end by kissing a guy and the reaction was amazing the video has three over like three and a half million views and there's only uh, the ratio of like versus like there's 300,000 likes and 4k dislikes so there's 4,000 people who are upset about this as opposed to like 300,000 that actually clicked thumbs up so I think from what I saw it was overwhelmingly positive and um it was amazing to see how happy and everyone treated me how proud they were of me it was it was crazy well you know what joey i have a uh common sense approach to all things like that i to me i don't care how anyone lives their life at all because it's none of my business so i look at it as as long as that guy's not not uh myopic about it in other words if a guy drives the fancy vet to work he should be a guy that works with us, not a guy. the guy who has the vet. So I look at it as, you know, you succeed, you show your talents, you do your stuff as a, as a human being on this planet, and who cares who's gay or who's transgendered or who's not or whatever. Um, so you just live your life, and I'm glad you can live your life and, and get back to entertaining people and not have people judge it. Yeah, well, thank you so much. That means a lot. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll check out your book and... Uh, hopefully it'll give some insight into the the guy that you've become, the New Englander from Marbo, who who made it big. And, w- and we'll be watching you on the big screen, too, I'm sure, Joey. Thank you, man. Oh, thank you so much. All right, you have a great day. Joey Graceffa, everybody.